Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, I am doing a first impressions on the Kylie Royal Peach palette and I'm just going to do some swatches, my overall first impressions and a eye tutorial all in one in this video for you guys. So if you are interested in seeing these swatches and my thoughts, let's go ahead and continue into the video. into the video. I'm going to go ahead and do these swatches first on the Kylie Royal Peach palette and then I'm going to create like a little eye tutorial for you guys using this palette. I'm also going to let you guys know my honest thoughts on how well the product is, whether it's very pigmented, creamy, this or that. So I did throw out the box. So I'm sorry, I can't show you guys what the box looks like because I forgot to keep it. I know some people were really sentimental with the boxes, but accidentally threw it away. But this is the palette itself. It's white with Kylie and Rose Gold and it's just gorgeous. It's just my aesthetics. So that's why I'm really drawn to it and I really love it. And then when you open it, it comes with a decent sized mirror and then you have your 12 eyeshadows and this palette was $45. So that's really great. And it does come with a decent blending brush as well. So I'm going to go ahead and test out this brush and see how well it works in comparison to my Morphe brushes that I normally use. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the first row and then I'm going to do the second row last. So, so far they are pretty creamy and they're very pigmented. That's just swirling my finger in there a little bit. All right, so we have Sorbet to the left and then the next one is Seashell. It's a very gorgeous metallic. That one I'm really loving a lot and I feel like I'm going to use a lot. And then the third one in is Peachy and then this blue one is Royal. And as you can tell, I just swiped these once down my arm and they're very pigmented. I'm going to swatch the next four for you guys. There is a little bit of a fallout with the metallic shades. All right, so as again they're pretty pigmented and then I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch them on my arm again for you guys. Alright so on to the left this gold metallic shade is Queen Bee and I'm just dying over this shade and then we have Duke the second to left and then the third shade is Duchess and this is another metallic shade and it's just this nice rose golden coppery shadow and I'm dying over it and then we have Sandy to the right and again these are very pigmented and this is just one swatch and I'm just dying over these shades this whole palette is just gorgeous so let's get into the next four swatches these are just freaking amazing look at mo this one's mojito right here this is like a green gold color like it's a gold with green undertone okay i'm gonna swatch these real quick and show you guys all right so to the left is mojito and that is that golden color with the green undertones and then we have north star and those first two are metallic shades north star was named after kim's baby northwest and then we have Crush, which is the third color from the left, and that's gorgeous. And then the last one is Cinnamon. I really love the cinnamon color a lot. It's one of my favorite colors to use, so I'm really excited to go ahead and get into a eye tutorial for you guys using this palette and see how well it blends and everything. All right, so I feel like my only problem now is just trying to figure out what kind of look I want to show you guys how to achieve, just because there's so amazing, gorgeous colors in here. This palette is very creamy i love that and it's very pigmented and the, the one swipe was amazing so we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial for this palette and see how well the shadows blend all right so i think i'm gonna go ahead and use these two colors right here to kind of create like a burgundy-ish type of look for you guys and then i want to test out this royal blue right here underneath my lower lash line to kind of somewhat recreate the look on the box but not too much i just want to see how well the blue Blue blends out and just create a nice contrasted look for this review. So I'm gonna take my Morphe E27. This is a bigger, softer, fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna take this to blow out my transition shades. And then I'm gonna use the Kylie blending brush to kind of focus more on my crease and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take Sorbet first and lay that out for my transition. So far, these colors are blending very amazing. God, I'm dying over this right now. 
And then I'm gonna go in with that sandy color just to kind of cool down the transition because the burgundy colors that we're gonna use are warm toned. So this will contrast the look a little bit and kind of pull it together more instead of using all warm tones. Have a cool tone in the transition just kind of pulls it together a little more when you're using warm tones for the look. Okay, so now that we have our transition shades nicely blended in, we're gonna go ahead and use the Duke and Cinnamon today for this look. Now about this brush, I've been hearing some people saying that it's very comparable to the MAC 217 brush. I personally don't own the MAC 217 brush, but it looks very similar. The hairs are, they use the same hairs, just the MAC one is a, the hairs on the MAC one are a slight bit longer than the Kylie one. So you guys let me know if the brushes are the same, but so far this brush is pretty dang decent and I'm kind of, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. And then I'm going to take the cinnamon shade and just darken up my outer corners with it. and kind of put that into my outer crease area and blend that in. It does a pretty good job at blending out the product. You can see that. And then I'm going to go in the shade Duke. This one is the metallic shade and I'm just going to lay that on my inner corners. And I'm going to take some setting spray to it just to really intensify the metallics. And I'm just going to use the same blending brush from Kylie. I'm going to take some of Duke and wet it. And then I'm going to go back in with the cinnamon color just to kind of deepen out that outer crease a little bit. I'm going to go back in with my Morphe brush just to kind of blend out these edges a little more. Now you can go in with your lower lash line and just do the same to the top. But because there's this royal blue just like sitting here in my face, I'm going to go ahead and use it for the purpose of this review just to see how well that one blends out and everything and to kind of recreate the look on the box. All right, so I'm gonna take my Morphe E36 brush. It's just this nice tiny domed pencil brush and I'm just gonna dip into this blue. Oh my God, so freaking. Okay, focus. And then ever so lightly. So as you can see, that is pretty dang blue. Now you can tell that that is extremely pigmented and blue. I'm just gonna go back in with Sandy to kind of just blend it out and just kind of blend out the lower lash line. And I'm gonna take the E18 by Morphe. This is a little bit big, bigger dome sized brush and I'm just gonna go into it with Sandy and uh, blend that out. Right, so now that doesn't look as scary, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner and some lashes and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts. I went ahead and added Working Girl by Icon. I do have an affiliate code if you want to purchase these. If you use the discount code HiLena, right now the discount is 35% off your purchase. If you want to go ahead and purchase these, they're really amazing. They're very durable, they're cruelty free, and they last you up to 20 wears. So I think that's pretty neat. And I just really love these lashes because they're so amazing. And they're very, like I said, they're very durable. And I also went ahead and applied my lipstick off camera. I went ahead and used Clo Money from the Coco Collection from Kylie Cosmetics. I put this first, this is the liquid matte shade, and then I went ahead and applied Damn Gina right on top of it. This is the lip gloss that is 
so gorgeous and it has these shimmers in it and it just makes it amazing. So I went ahead and layered those together to create this. All right, so I wanna go ahead and give my overall thoughts on the Kylie Royal Peach palette. Overall, I think this palette is very amazing and I'm really happy that I purchased it and the quality of the eyeshadows are very amazing. They're creamy, they're pigmented. I didn't really experience a lot of fallout when I was applying the eyeshadows, so I thought that was amazing. And the brush overall is pretty decent when I was um, using my color switch to switch colors. Some of the hair did fall out a little bit, but I feel like that's kind of with any brush. Sometimes the hair will fall out, but there wasn't a lot of fallout from the brush. I think this brush is pretty dang good. If you guys think it is a comparison to the MAC 217, please let me know. And these metallic shades in here, I'm very obsessed with. They're so gorgeous, so pigmented. Again, not a lot of fallout from any of these shadows, whether they were matte or metallic. And I can't wait to create more looks from this palette because it's gorgeous. I'm really wanting to use the purple shade right here in the North Star. I'm really looking forward to using that. And yeah. This is my nice little box, you guys. I had ordered from Kylie Cosmetics, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and Sephora. 